Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to install Noobs operating system. Noob stands for new out of the box software and it is regarded as the one of the most easiest operating system to unpack and to install it on the SD card. So now as you can see that I have already opened a website that is called raspberrypi.org. So what you have to do is to just click on this downloads and now you can find that there are two main operating systems all rest are the third party operating systems so the first thing which you can find is known as noobs so that is called new out of the box software which I've already told you an easy operating system installer for beginners so just click over here and now you can find that there are two versions that is noobs and noobs Lite. so noobs will contain you can say it is an easy operating system which contains the Raspbian it provides selection you of all the alternative operating system which are then downloaded from the internet and installed and Noobs Lite contains the operating system installer without the Raspbian. So what I recommend is to just click either on the torrent or either on the zip version. You will you will get the uh, Noobs files. So now I have already downloaded. This is uh, the file which I have downloaded, which I have shown you the link. If you right click over here and click on properties, so it is about 1.2. 0 to GB so it is not of a very high size it is about a medium size so just click OK now if you double click over here now you can find all these files over here okay so now let us start that how to install noobs onto the SD card so what what you have to do is to first of all select all and now you have to extract to a specified folder so now what I do I just make into my E drive that is noobs so it will take some time to extract so now as you can see that it has extracted and now if I go to my E drive that is this over here now you can find that a new folder has been created and all this has been there so what you have to do is to just copy paste all these files as such into the SD card now what I do is to just insert my SD card and now just control A right click copy and go over here and just uh, so before we paste it sorry uh, we just have to format the SD card so click yes again we click on option click on ok format so as I've already formatted you so it is just for you that you should not forget so just click exit and now what we do we just pay go over here and we just paste it so it will just be copying the files and it will takes about one minute so till then we pause the video so now you can see that it is almost there and it has taken me about uh, one minute to copy all the contents from my D drive to the uh, you can say to the SD card so we will be not be making use of win32 disk manager in this uh, noobs installation so now as you can see that all things have been copied and now if I just right click in properties it is about again 1.02 GB so what you have to do is to just uh, uh, eject the SD card and you just have to insert the SD card into Raspberry Pi and now let us put that SD card into Raspberry Pi and, and let's see the main interface let us configure the Raspbian with the noobs that is new software out of new out of the box software and let's see the live demonstration now you have seen that I have already installed the noobs files in which I have not used any window 32 disk manager software I have just copy pasted all the files onto this SD card so after I plug in the SD card onto my Raspberry Pi 2 I am having the similar setup which is having mouse wireless uh, TP-Link connector my keyboard HDMI connector and power connector and I am using Raspberry Pi 2 it will first to be installing and then it will be giving us the live interface so how to set up noobs how it will be giving the interface I will be giving you the live demonstration in this third part of this video in the first part I have shown you what is noobs how to download it in the next B part we have uh, down we have installed it on the SD card which means the copying of files and now on the live Raspberry Pi so let us you can say plug in the SD card onto my Raspberry Pi so it has been fitted so I'm using this key uh, my keyboard and mouse so let us on my television and the Raspberry Pi so now you can see that it has started booting and logo of Samsung has already been there so noob stands for new out-of-the-box software so you can see 
that it has started and now as I've already told you that Noobs are having two versions. One is called Noobs full version and Noobs light version. So Noobs version will be having the Raspbian and light version will not be having any operating system. So we are having the Raspbian operating system. So let us uh, check this. And now let us click on install. So click on yes. So basically what we are doing, we are just installing the Raspbian operating system onto the SD card. So now you can see that uh, Raspbian operating system has started installing and it will it is showing about 3138 MB of files is to be written and 19 MB of files has already been written. So it will be taking some time about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the SD card. So we then pause the video and we return till we have 96 or 97 percent onto our television screen. So we see you in the next part of the video. So now you can see that it is almost 98% and almost 3114 files out of 3138 MB has been copied. So we have to just wait for you can see just for 10 seconds more in order to get the operating system finally installed and extracted. So it is 100% now. So you can see that Raspberry Pi has uh, almost finished up installing of the files on this SD card. And after that we will have a restart and then we will be greeted by Raspbian operating system over Noobs that is new out of the box software. So let's wait and now you can see that it is extracting the file system. So you can find all these advertisements with Python and Java. So Raspbian operating system supports both Python and Java and you can do some programming. So in the coming videos I will be also demonstrating more on Raspbian and how to remotely telnet it, how to make it as a web server, how to make it as a you can say IP camera. So you can see that the operating system has been installed successfully so let us click OK. So it will boot and now after the booting we will be starting with uh, the Raspbian operating system. So it is starting the file system at dev slash mb and everything is going ok which means that we have successfully installed our operating system on Raspbian Pi. So it is giving that is pi automatic login and we know that for raspberry we have to give the username as pi and password as raspberry which is a default password. So very soon we will be greeted with the interface. So now you can see that the mouse has been loaded. So this is the main interface and if you click over here it is a terminal. So this is the command for uh, you can say for uh, getting the IP address and you can see the network is over here and it has already detected the wireless network. So here is the wireless network. So if I can click over here. So in this video I have demonstrated how to install Noobs and Raspbian operating system. So do give it a shot. It's a very good operating system to work with Raspberry Pi. Thank you.